five minute rounds. Introducing our first pro fighter, Nathan Manus. Nathan Manus, a guy who is looking to go from making this his part-time job to his full-time career, I would imagine. 7-0, 11-0, including amateur. Trains at TAG MMA with the likes of Josh Stanley. He's trained for five years. He can go the distance or he can finish you. So if he wants to take that next step, I would imagine that uh, a win over Mark McDonald could help launch him there. Albemarle, North Carolina. All my family's from Albemarle, North Carolina. Really? Yep. If you're a plyler, you're related. It's unfortunate. <laughs> McDonald was a very her heralded amateur fighter. I think he was I think something like 10 and 3 as an amateur out of G-Force, wrestled in high school, and then started training MMA right out of high school because he missed wrestling so much. In his uh, Outside of MMA, he works as a corrections officer, so there's not going to be a lot thrown at him that he right, hasn't seen right. Nothing that intimidates inside him. the insanity of, of a jail. Won two of his last three fights and has kind of returned to his finishing form of late. Absolutely. Once again, G-Force, great camp. A couple of young pros, too, which is, is good to see. Here we go. Just to give a shout out to the guys at G-Force also, I ran a nonprofit for 20 years, and those guys would send fighters to the gym and work with the kids and all that stuff. It was, it was a really cool experience. Quite a few gyms did that. championship and this is a pro fight scheduled for three five minute rounds introducing first in the red corner he stands five foot ten weighing 145 pounds fighting out of henderson kentucky he represents tag mma with a record of seven wins and no losses nathan mayhem In the blue corner, he set foot nine, weighing 145 pounds. Fighting in Olympia, Ohio, he represents Team G Force with a record of three wins, two losses. Mark on 
unstoppable McDonald's! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three five-minute rounds. Maness McDonald. Big implications for both men. Maness could be looking at Bellator UFC offers with a win. McDonald with a win gets gets a victory over an undefeated a man who's never tasted defeat in amateur or pro MMA. Ness scores with a few strikes early, blocks a head kick from McDonald. Both look very composed. Just incredible use of underhooks there from Maynes. He saw the shot coming, immediately got the underhook in. McDonald switches to a front headlock. And look at that, Maynes. Mayness with a big slam, not just a slam, he carried him the length of the cage. To carried, his corner. Carried McDonald the length of the cage to his corner. So he could hear the tag MMA corner. Absolutely. Good, good thinking, good coaching. Half guard. Mark, Mark McDonald needs to start moving his hips. Looks pretty complacent right now. Breathing heavily too as he labors to get up. McDonald that is. He's getting those hips moving now. Maynes just tying McDonald up on the ground in his corner. I'm sure he's, he's happy to be here. Absolutely. Coaches getting to listen to the coaches. Maynes is having trouble moving and then retaining that half guard. Absolutely. Because McDonald, as we just saw, well, as I was saying that, Maynes took side control. Yeah. McDonald's trying to get out. Now Neon Maynes. Belly. Working them out, but McDonald scrambles, and we are back in that, that half guard. Controlling the wrist. Trying to get... McDonald has the, has the right arm of Maness tied up. Now pulls himself in close. Maness makes him pay a little bit with strikes to the head, strikes to the ribs. Then McDonald goes to, to an elbow, which is legal in the professional fights. Two minutes left in the round. A couple of good Man punches has been, from Maness. Yeah. Maness has been really pressuring McDonald. He disengaged and re-engaged immediately. Listen into his corner. They are right in front of us. Absolutely. Manez good puts some pressure. Manez starting to throw those elbows, nasty elbows to the head of McDonald. Going right back McDonald's to the body with punches. Square his body up. Start working his hips out. Manez is putting good pressure on his hips, keeping McDonald from being able to move. I mean, that's really punishing the body of McDonald on the ground. And he has, or well, they both have one minute remaining. Got to imagine McDonald happy to ride this out while Maynes grinds on top. 47 Re seconds left really in the round. Really punishing McDonald on the ground.
Mayness controlling the high school wrestler McDonald on the ground. And that is that is McDonald's strong suit. Well. Absolutely. Mayness is putting some good pressure on him. Ten seconds left in the first round. And now after round one, the question isn't who won the round. Is it's it, could you score that a 10-8 for Mayness? Because at no point did McDonald threaten <laughs> right. during that round. Right. It was domination from bell to bell from Mayness. Not too, not too much major damage, but he's scoring points consistently. Play, playing McDonald's game too. That has to be. Wow, the that rest has to be yeah. frustrating for McDonald. Seconds to get out. Round two, getting ready to get started. Maness McDonald, round two. Maness looking to move to 8-0 and o as a professional fighter. McDonald trying to make it four and two. Nice leg kick from Mayness. Mayness looks fresh as a daisy. He's stalking McDonald. Switching up those kicks, going to the head, going to the body, going to the legs. Not only that, switching legs. You never know which leg and which body part that leg is going to attack Ooh. from Mayness. He's steadily getting into his groove and in his pace. You're going to timing down, too. It's a damned if you don't damn, or damned if you do, damned if you don't situation for McDonald because when he moves, Mayness is is kicking to wherever McDonald circles to. Right. Whenever he stops, he's throw. Uh, Mayness is throwing a head kick. There, McDonald lands a few nice strikes, oh. but slips and ends up on his back again. And if you're if you're Mark McDonald, you got to be thinking, what can I do? Even when I land a few strikes, I end up on my back. Menez has got those hips down, chest pressure. This was the story of the first round as well, but, right. but Menez was a little more active from the top, throwing strikes, elbows, and he goes to it now. Rains down about a half dozen yep. strikes to the head of McDonald. Yeah, Menez is just, he's transitioning well. I would imagine elbows aren't too far from happening uh, from Maness. Uh, elbows and knees, as we just saw. But you need to take advantage of them in the professional fights. Right now, you could take that left hand, post on his forehead, and McDonald throwing a few of his own from the bottom because why not? Right. We even see Maness throwing in some shoulder butts. Now we may not see the elbows as much. Uh, McDonald 
Hasme Ness's left arm tied up. He'll look to work that out. Almost spun around the north-south. That would have not have been a very good. He's, he's going for it there, too. Go, went for it again. There was the elbow. Yeah, he's. Maness has got McDonald just pinned oh, up. Wraps, wraps McDonald up. McDonald gets fighting that body it around. Off. Oh, here he goes. That's it. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Nathan Great Maness. grappling. Nathan Great grappling Maness. Nathan Maness. Nathan Maness moves to 8 and 0 oh as a pro fighter. 8 and 0. Oh. You got to imagine he's going to be calling for a 145 pound professional title from Premier MMA Championship pretty soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. One to watch. Manus just slapped that Darce on. That is a guy you are going to be seeing on an even bigger stage. Yeah, before consistent long. pressure. Did very well. On to our main event of the evening professional welterweight title. Chris Curtis, who we'll be seeing soon. Another guy who was very close to getting that call. That call being from the UFC, not from Billy Donovan. Nobody wants to get that call. <laughs> I mean, they do for Premier MMA championships, not just like recreationally. Right. Hey, how socially. you doing, Fred? Yeah. Nobody wants that call from Billy Donovan. All right. 